Hello everybody, welcome to Paracrew. Today I'm going to show you how to convert USB rubber ducky scripts to DigiSpark scripts. The USB rubber ducky is a great bad USB. It has many features and amongst one of its great benefits is that it has a big user base that shares scripts online. However, for some people it can be too expensive for a first bad USB. For this reason I'm going to show you how to automatically convert USB rubber ducky scripts to the DigiSpark. Now what is a DigiSpark? DigiSpark is this small Arduino compatible microcontroller that amongst other things can emulate HID devices. Thus it can act like a keyboard when you connect it to your computer and send over keystrokes with commands. So first of all you need a DigiSpark. If you don't have one you can buy one from eBay. I have a link down in the description below from which if you buy you also support our YouTube channel. Once you have your DigiSpark you need to install the Arduino IDE. I will have it linked in the description below. Once you have installed Arduino IDE, you need to configure your DigiSpark board, which you can do by following these instructions over here from the DigiStump wiki. I also have it in the description below. Once you're done with all that, just head over to this GitHub page over here, which I also have in the description below. And we're going to download the DigiQuack application, which converts our USB rubber ducky scripts to DigiSpark. So download the appropriate version, I'm gonna use the Windows one. Open up the zip file and extract it to a folder. Once you've done that, open up the folder over here. As you can see, you will have the digiquack.exe. And then we'll need to find a USB rubber ducky script. I went over to the ducktoolkit.com webpage and found this Hello World simple script by Hack5Darren. I'm just gonna go and copy it. I'm gonna create a new text file. Let's name it ducky and I'm going to paste the script in it, save it and close it. Then I'm going to run the digiquack.exe, as you can see it has a welcome message. And then I'm going to drag the ducky.txt in here and hit enter. Then it will say that the script has been successfully converted, if everything went well. And it will ask you if you want to execute the script once or have it loop indefinitely. I'm just gonna go for single execution enter and then you will see this converted.txt file just head over open it and as you can see it has successfully converted the script to digispark now this automated method usually works but sometimes it needs some fixes for example here i'm not quite sure that this will work you might want to change the comma with a pipe symbol like this but i'm just going to leave it like that for now uh, the exit at the end if you want to run it just once the exit uh, command doesn't work so you'll have to just go over here, go back to the DigiQuack repository, and go to the latest commits. As you can see, there is a commit over here, where it says bug fix, and just change exit to this line over here. Also, sometimes strings need fixing, meaning that you will have to remove this F over here uh, before strings. Once you have done all these, now you can just go ahead and copy the code put it into the Arduino ID and try to load it on your DigiSpark. If there are any more errors, you can just debug it on the fly within the Arduino ID. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe for more awesome content. I'll see you in the next video.